Okay, welcome back. In today's module, we're going to be talking about uh, key principles of complex systems that will inform how we go about uh, designing them if we better understand uh, the nature of the system that we're dealing with and its key um, characteristics and aspects, uh, then we'll be able to develop our principles uh, based upon those. That's essentially what this um, course is about, trying to work with uh, complex systems and design uh, with them and find principles that are relevant for working with complexity. So to start that discussion off, we can uh, quickly make it a, a, a distinction between uh, simpler systems and uh, the more complex systems uh, that we're talking about here. So simpler systems, these are fundamentally different, uh, have different kind of foundational principles that, that, that there are fewer parts in simpler systems. Uh, there's low levels of interdependence, relatively separate. Um, so relatively low levels of uh, interconnectivity and relatively static. And that's in contrast to complex systems that typically have many parts, uh, sometimes almost infinite uh, number of parts, highly interdependent, highly interconnected, and um, they're dynamic, they're adapting and evolving over time. So we'll quickly take a look at uh, some examples of those, um, particularly in the context of systems that we're trying to design. There are many complex systems out there. Uh, many of them we aren't trying to design. Flocks of birds, um, what society should we say? But here are, are examples of ones that we are trying to design. So a smart city um, in urban design is a complex system that we're starting to try and uh, design organizations. We have um, organization design and enterprise design, certainly complex systems, uh, internet of things, uh, in software engineering, uh, complex systems for sure, supply chains, information systems that can consist of many parts, interconnected, interdependent, and they're adapting um, and dynamic and evolving over time. Transport systems uh, are again, good examples of complex systems that we're trying to design. So those are complex systems. Uh, characteristics of those complex systems, they're open. They're more open than closed. The system's boundary is not clearly defined, um, but is open like a system. You know, it's different from a chair. A chair is a simpler system that we try to design. Um, it's well, well defined, well bounded, so forth. A city uh, is an open system. They're self-organizing. Parts are not static and inert, uh, but may adapt and self-organize. Um, over time, like people, well, traffic is a good example. Um, the traffic jams are emergent self-organizing uh, patterns and we need to work with them. Networks, the system is more uh, like a network rather than a set of um, things. Uh, Internet of uh, things platform is a good example. It's ultimately gonna be a network um, rather than just uh, individual separate parts. So emergence, uh, new patterns and dynamics emerge on different levels. Um, the traffic jams uh, being a good example, um, but many others, multi-dimensional system is composed of diverse subsystems and uh, multifunctional, like a city. Uh, there's many subsystems to that, a smart city. When we're thinking about that, we'll have to think about, yeah, energy and, and lighting and uh, accommodation and so forth. Adaptive, so parts have a high degree of autonomy and adaptive capacity and they're evolving over time. Um, so yeah, again, uh, a city would be a good example. Um, there are many different subsystems, there are many different organizations in that city. Uh, no one's fully in control or an internet of things platform. There'll be many different uh, autonomous and adaptive um, components that are connecting into that platform. Um, we won't fully control it. We won't be able to fully control all those components because uh, they're autonomous in some, some sense and adapting and evolving. And we need to uh, actually work with them. So then out of that emerges certain uh, systems design requirements, right? If we're gonna be working with that um, nature of complex systems, then these are some of the kind of requirements that are placed upon us um, as designers. Holism. So actually these different requirements um, now are starting to structure the different modules uh, in the course. Um, so as you will have seen, the first module is around um, holism, the first section. Um, so we want a design approach that's holistic in considering all relevant factors rather than partial. 
partial design um, creates a lot, a lot of uh, problems. There's unintended uh, consequences. You want something that's holistic. It's accounting for all the relevant factors so that we don't get uh, negative externalities. Um, okay, so open. We want to develop systems that are open involving the contribution of the many rather than closed to only the few. So they're participatory cities, um, an open, uh, it's a new form of design where we're trying to create more of the context rather than uh, and engage the end user. They're more user generated systems and they need to be open in that sense. Integrated. We need systems that are, are connected, accessible and integrated rather than siloed due to borders and boundaries. We're not separating out into different um, domains and departments here. What, a lot of what we're doing is by uh, integrating and connecting. So uh, decentralized does not concentrate inwards and create dependencies upon a few nodes, but pushes outwards, engaging the end users in the co-creation of the solutions and thus making the systems more resilient um, and equitable, should we say, um, evolving dynamics uh, design that works with the full system's life cycle to create systems that are circular, regenerative, and evolutionary rather than linear and degenerative. So ultimately trying to get to something sustainable, and that's uh, going to be looking at uh, the full life cycle um, over time and how it adapts, how the system adapts, evolves, and regenerates itself. Um, instead of going through a linear life cycle. There we have it. Those are the key um, principles of complex systems. In the next section, we'll be moving into talking about uh, open holism and open, open systems design.